The Lebensborn program of the Nazis attempted to produce a super race of German children through breeding. Hitler's policies of mass murder were the exact opposite of the Lebensborn concept. Lebensborn was intended to repopulate society with the best new generation of racially pure Aryan children. Lebensborn was first intended as a fix for a demographic crisis that Germany was experiencing. The country's young male population had been wiped out by World War I, and the German government calculated that up to 800,000 pregnancies ended in abortion annually in 1935. This was a despicable waste of young Aryan youngsters who might have added to the nation's declining population and brought Adolf Hitler and Heinrich Himmler closer to their vision of a racially pure state. In light of this, the Lebensborn initiative was developed. Lebensborn seemed understated on the surface, they would build a number of first-rate facilities and provide free prenatal and postnatal care to the expecting SS officers' wives. The couples would be encouraged to have children as frequently as possible because the moms and newborns would be meticulously taken care of while their husbands ran the Nazi state. Himmler launched a propaganda campaign in 1935 encouraging any unmarried woman who matched the ethnic profile to give birth in a Lebensborn house. The Nazi regime celebrated the birth of any Aryan kid, regardless of the marital status of the child's parents, so having an unmarried child was no longer considered shameful. Himmler vowed that any expecting mother who met the requirements would be brought discreetly to a Lebensborn facility, given the finest treatment possible without charge, and then sent back home once she gave birth. The service would aid her in locating an appropriate Aryan family interested in adoption if she wasn't prepared to raise the child herself. Himmler expanded the Lebensborn program as a result. He started setting up covert events where suitable women could meet SS soldiers and, if both parties were cooperative, have more children for the Nazi party without any consideration of marriage. The German divorce laws were changed in 1938, making it simpler for men to leave wives who were in their late 40s and 50s to marry younger, childbearing women. The Nazi government started to show interest in the kids from the nations of Europe it had invaded in 1939. Orphans with fair hair and blue eyes throughout occupied Europe started to vanish and resurface in Nazi Lebensborn institutions, where the young ones would be placed for adoption and the older ones would be moved on to boarding schools for retraining and germanization. In Poland and Yugoslavia, SS soldiers started abducting kids with Aryan looks and smuggling them back to Germany for re-education. When the Allies drew closer to triumph, the Nazis destroyed nearly all of the paperwork pertaining to the Lebensborn program, separating an estimated 200,000 victims from their families. Some found their way back home, but others were unable to do so because they couldn't recall where their relatives were.